Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Just recently a friend of mine told me that his Garmin handheld marine GPS stopped working. He does have a jet ski, so he doesn't use it that often. It's primarily for emergency use. He went to power it up, nothing came on. So he called up the company to find out how much it would be to replace the internal battery on this unit. And incredibly, they want around $175 just to replace the LiPo battery inside this Garmin GPS, and that does not include shipping it to them. So you're looking at over 200 bucks just to replace the battery. So what I'm going to do today is open this up to see what kind of a LiPo battery is in there. I do have a bunch on hand, and hopefully one of them fits. So let's turn it this way. Over here you have T6 screws. Right here, T6. It does have an SOS feature on it in case of an emergency. It's well protected so you don't accidentally trigger it. Incredible how much money they wanted. And then I heard that you had to give them all this information first before you can get the price. They wanted to know your email address. Of course, you're going to end up with more spam. Then they want your home address, and then they want the model number, the serial number, and this and that, and your phone number. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous, based on what he told me, just to have this battery replaced. They should have just had a booklet ready that stated how much the price would be for this particular unit, but they didn't. Very annoying. Oh yeah, look at this. Wow, it's like a balloon. It is like a balloon. All right. Not much in here. It's amazing, the technology, how it's just on that one board. Years ago, it would have been huge. Multiple layers of boards. All right. So let me do this carefully. Just pull this off of here. I'm going to take this ribbon off right here. See if I can do it with my fingernail. Yep, very good. And now we're going to go over here where the battery connector is. Let's take this off. You know what? Let's just go under here and grab it. And this one I should just pull off. Excellent. Okay, let's remove this connector here. This one here looks like it may lift. Is it lift? Yes, that's a lift one. Okay, we'll put this off to the side. Let me take a look if I have this battery or something close to it. And you can see the date here. So it's almost, it's actually five years old. Okay, I have this battery here. It's a lithium ion. Yep, and it will fit nicely into that space. This one is a 3.8. 3100 milliamp hour. This is a 3000 milliamp hour. That's the maximum charging voltage, which is 4.2, which is 4.2, uh, 3.7, 3.8. That's fine. Everything is good. It's the same chemistry. Let me pop this out of here. It's probably just glued in. You notice that this one has just a positive and negative. There's a protection board right here. We're going to have to do some modifying by removing this Kapton tape to see how this one is set up because I want to have the same connector on the new LiPo battery. It's really, really stuck on there. I don't want to pop this thing. Air can get in there and cause issues. Once I pop this off, I'm going to take this outside because I want to very carefully open this to look at the board, how this is connected. All right. Okay, let's put this off to the side. Yeah, this thing is like a balloon.
Let me take this outside. I'm going to very carefully make an opening along the top here to access where the board is because I want to be able to desolder it or snip it off from where the LiPo cell is connected. It's going to have to go on a new battery. All right, it wasn't too bad extracting this battery protection board from the old LiPo battery pack. You saw how puffy the battery pack was. And along the top edge, that was black electrical tape. So while I was outside, I very carefully took a utility knife blade, trimmed the outer pouch off of the battery, and then very carefully, using the cutters, cut the positive and negative off the battery pack without short-circuiting it. So right here we have the board. I looked at it under magnification. There is no damage to this board. Over here it says B minus, that's battery negative. Over here is battery positive. And this connection here is the white. That's a temperature sensing element. You can see here the two red wires go to the battery positive. Over here, the two black wires connect to this pad here, battery negative, and the white wire goes over to here, I believe, with this temperature sensing element. So what I need to do is take this battery here, remove this protection board, that's positive and that's negative, and I'm going to have to either spot weld or solder this connection here to the tab you see there and over here. And I'm going to press this element tight against this pouch and I'm going to wrap it very tight with more of the Kapton tape that you see right here, which is this yellowish goldish tape. Now before I even use this board, I want to make sure it's not damaged. So I'm going to take my power supply unit, connect up four volts to battery negative and battery positive and then I want to go over to the connector and make sure we have four volts between the red wires and the black wires. Okay I have my power supply it's set at four volts connected to where the battery will be spot welded or soldered onto the board so we should have a power output here if this board is working properly. Let's check Take a look here, it should give us four. Yep, 4.01, and it works between both black wires and both red wires. Let's go between the red and the white. Yep, that's working. Now that we know this works, I'll connect it up to the LiPo battery pack, the new one, and then tape it up good, and we'll give it a try. Okay, you can see I peeled off the Kapton tape and lifted this up. That's the battery board that I'm not going to be using. So I'm very carefully going to cut this off very close up high. That's good. I'm going to cut this one off close. Good. Okay. Looks good. Now, just verify positive and negative. Let's hold this here. There you go. Negative over here, so that's negative. That's negative. So it's gonna to have to be connected the board just like this. There is an issue with the spacing, but I can work that out. What I decided to do because the battery tabs did not line up with the pads on the board is to use 22 gauge copper wire. It's gonna give me a lot of flexibility when I position this board against this edge of the LiPo battery. If I would have used this, it would have been a lot more rigid and it would have been angling off or 
it wouldn't have been good. So at least this now can come out, curve around to that tab, curve around to this tab. And when I solder it, what I'm going to do is use this as a heat sink very close to the battery right there to prevent the heat from traveling from this tab into that foil packet. So let me solder this together and then we're going to flip it in and wrap up the battery. All right, and here it is, it came out perfect. You can see this is the original BMS that was transplanted from the faulty battery onto the new one. Everything is wrapped with the Kapton tape. And you can see the wires here, wrap around the corners nicely, connected here and here. It is soldered to those points. And the voltage was verified between positive and negative and I do have 3.98 volts right now. Now what I'm going to do is put this back into the GPS. I'm going to be using a strong double-sided tape here. It's gonna be going into that space right there. I'm going to take some 91% rubbing alcohol, take any oil from my hands off the rear side of this Lithium polymer, clean the area right in here. That looks pretty good. This is excellent tape. I'll put a link in the video description area if you don't have it. Lift this out. there. Double sided so once I push this down good now I'm going to peel this off. It's like a gel. Let's go right there. Beautiful. Okay, let me reassemble everything and let's try it and make sure it works. Everything looks good, let's put it back together. Make sure the seal stays in position, which it appears to be. That looks good. And let's put all the screws in. Okay, let's see, let's hope this works. Yes, 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 yes. There it is, Garmin. Beautiful. And you can see right here it's booting up. And I'm going to put it on charge in a minute just to make sure it charges. And you can see right here it charges just fine. Okay, so a huge savings if you're willing to put the time in to replace this battery. I spent less than 20 bucks to have this GPS all back together again with a brand new battery. And the good thing is, if I have to replace the LiPo battery in the future, it's going to be very easy. Just simply desolder it, transfer the board onto the new battery terminals. And guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.